basically this is our first day here and so you know we made some mistakes right when we got here and we want to share what some of those different things are so if you come here you can know exactly what to do how to bargain and what you need to know in order to have the best possible time here Buenas from Playa Espadilla. We are here in Costa Rica at our second beach of the trip. And this one I like much more because honestly, I just prefer a white sand or almost white sand beach. Whereas when we were in, whereas when we were in Playa Jaco, yeah, that one is a black sand beach. So it almost feels like you're sitting in dirt. It's a beautiful beach and all, but honestly, I definitely prefer this type of beach where you get more of the closer to white sand type feel here. So guys, where is Playa Espadilla? So it is about a one hour and 15 minute drive down from Jaco Beach. And that's of course on the Pacific side as well, just like Jaco. And it's got super beautiful views here. We actually, in order to get the last three miles up to Playa Espadilla, we had to go up probably 1500 feet in elevation. And then we went right back down here and then we parked. It's mi amigo de Costa Rica. Mi amigo con uh, muchas cervezas para todos los días y umbrellas and chairs. So come talk to him. He will take care of you. He will not rip you off and he'll give you a great price. So careful because there are other people on the beach that will. Amigo, hasta luego. Gracias. Gracias. All right. So to start off, when you first arrive to the beach here, you're going to have a bunch of people that are basically flagging you down. This is if you're driving. If you're taking a bus or an Uber, then you're good to go. But if you're driving your own rental car, you'll pull up and there'll be a bunch of people who are directing you to come and park. So we found out after looking up after that it's free to park, but they, there are local security guards who charge $4 for the whole day of parking. And we did not know this, so we ended up paying $10 per day. Obviously, it's $6, but I mean, it's $6 that, you know, we just went to waste when we could have gotten a couple of cervezas or a souvenir or something. The next tip to share with you is that there are rental umbrellas and chairs here for up to $10 for an umbrella and two chairs. But I was reading up that you can get them for as low as $2. So I would try and negotiate as best as possible. We got four chairs and one of those like larger tent umbrellas for 16 US dollars. But if you're coming with just two of you, try and bargain it down to at least under $5 to get the best possible deal. Otherwise, you're gonna be paying more than actually is worth it. Okay, so next you have one of two options when it comes to getting your drinks. You can either buy drinks at the grocery store and bring a cooler, but if you wanna buy beers on the beach, you can definitely get them and they'll bring them directly to your seat. But you'll pay around 1,500 Costa Rican, I can't remember the currency, for an Imperial Light, which is normally at the grocery store between 700 to 900. It depends on what you want. It's really not that expensive. It's still just over $2 for a beer to have it freshly delivered to you and ice cold. Or if you really wanna save a couple bucks here, you can pick it up yourself, you know, have the cooler and everything. So the next tip is the reason why people love this beach so much, specifically tourists, is because there are so many activities compared to Hako Beach, there wasn't too many uh, tourist activities. But here you can find things like uh, parasailing, you can go uh, jet skiing, there's these like banana boats that you can get pulled either by a boat or a jet ski. You can get surf lessons or just rent a surfboard for the day and many other activities. So one thing we want to say though is make sure you shop around. There's going to be people that we even heard from our guy uh, that's selling us beers that'll come and rip you off and ask you for a deposit. So ask around on what the pricing is and don't pay a deposit because you don't want to risk yourself getting scammed here, of course, and ruining a great vacation. So the fifth thing I will share with you today is that there are a lot of street vendors, or let's say beach vendors, just random people, locals from Costa Rica that are out here trying to sell you stuff. But I know some people like an easy way to be able to get souvenirs or a quick snow cone or whatever it might be that these guys are selling. But just keep in mind here, they're used to tourists, so negotiate with them and you can probably get a better price. And they're really nice here, just like all the people in Costa Rica. So if you don't want it, just say no gracias, no thank you. And for the most part, they leave you alone and they walk away. Some of them are a little bit more pushy, but not in a way where it makes you feel uncomfortable. They're still very, very nice. All right, so I know I said that was the last tip, but the sixth and final bonus tip I will tell you actually is be very careful with your surroundings here. Because actually while I was shooting that last one, I had two people that looked like they were eyeing me up to potentially grab the camera. I'm not 
trying to make any assumptions, but they were staring very closely and it looked like they were scheming. And then once I started walking away very quickly, then they kind of just moseyed away. And it didn't look like they were coming to the beach just to hang out. They had their running shoes on and everything. So be aware of your surroundings and don't trust everyone. You are in Central America, almost South America. So there are people that know that, you know, tourists do have gear, camera, money, whatever it is. So be safe. I wanted to share all these tips with you because these are some things we learned today really quickly actually. But if this can help you with your trip there, it'll make it even better down here. It's a really beautiful beach. And so far out of the two beaches we've been, we like this one way better just because the overall scenery, the amount of activities. Uh, but of course the cons like we mentioned here earlier are you get a little bit more activity in terms of people bothering you to sell stuff. And then maybe a little bit more concern with someone trying to snag your stuff and then maybe trying to make an extra buck off you. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Leave any comments here for your favorite beaches in Costa Rica, and we'll see you guys in the next video.